Hello guys, today, well technically yesterday, I went to the library, which they usually have like movies for 33 cents, and I got the greatest movie haul I've ever gotten in my life. 33 cents a movie, and check out how many good movies I found. I might actually be able to give away a digital copy in this video. As long as it's not redeemed, I don't even know if it's redeemed or not. But I've given this away in the past. The only reason why I'm giving this movie away for the digital copy is because of the fact of the matter is I already own it on digital. So let's get started. So of course, our first movie, which this is the one with the digital copy, Jurassic World in 3D. Blu-ray 3D plus Blu-ray plus DVD plus digital HD. Of course, this is honestly insane. Spine, back. I can't even believe I actually found this at the library. I mean, some of the other movies I can't even believe I found either. Because I had a feeling if I wouldn't, if I would have gotten this, so, uh, if I wouldn't have gotten this, somebody else would have. And they would have probably resold these. Because this is at least a $30 movie right here. So, of course. Or $15 to $30. Here is this digital copy for you. It's... It's redeemable in the U.S. and Canada. I released a U.K. version a long time ago, like a digital copy for the U.K. a long time ago. So here's the 3D Blu-ray, the standard Blu-ray, and DVD. I used to own the DVD version, and I used to own an older Blu-ray, a Blu-ray from the U.K., and I it got damaged. Plus, I couldn't even play it, so of course. And, well, I could watch it at some point, but really it took too much of a process. But of course, Jurassic World 3D what is a really cool Blu-ray set, and honestly, it's worth it. I found this at the library. That's still amazing. Another thing I found at the library, Mission Impossible Fallout. Complete in the box and everything. Honestly, I am not a fan of Mission Impossible or anything like that. But this is the one that actually had a 97% on Rotten Tomatoes. It's crazy. It really is. And I watched the first one a long time ago. And that was the only one. I think I watched Rogue Nation, to be honest. I just don't remember it. But of course, I watched the first one and I didn't like it. So, of course, Spine Back... I thought I'd give this one a chance because it actually, the trailer looks kind of good. So, of course, I'll watch it at some point. I don't know if this digital copy is redeemed or not, but it's from Paramount, so I'm going to give it away. Um, all of these are used, by the way, so I don't even know if they've been redeemed or not. But here's, here's the Blu-ray from Mission Impossible Fallout, the movie disc. And here's the Special Features Blu-ray disc, and here's the DVD. Pretty sure it comes with this collectible booklet. Give me a sec. Okay, I took them out. Yeah, there's this book that comes with it. Stunts Raising the Bar. It's just all the stunts that they did in the movie. So, of course, because they did some outrageous stunts. I can't really say outrageous because that, that's another way of saying that it was funny stunts, but of course, no. I used the wrong word. Um, is that one word? I can't think of words right now, but of course, some crazy stunts. Heart pounding stunts, of course. Another movie I found. Doctor Strange didn't come with the digital copy at all, even though it says it. I have digi I have Disney H. <sighs> I have Disney Plus, so I got to watch this movie, and they have it in the IMAX enhanced version. So of course, go check that out. Um, I got this Blu-ray set because it was a really good movie. Spine back. I like how the cases like it shows like the alternate dimension kind of things you get the 
the case flips and everything. It's really cool. They actually reissued this movie with Blu-ray Plus Digital. I think that's pretty much a ripoff because it's Blu-ray Plus DVD Plus Digital. Sorry, somebody came in the room, but of course, let's take a well. Here's uh, Doctor Strange. Try to get this a better off. There we go. It's a waste of money getting the Blu-ray Plus Digital because if you get the Blu-ray Plus DVD Plus Digital, you actually get the DVD with it. The Blu-ray, and here's the DVD. Never got it with the digital copy, sadly. I'll use the digital, uh, I'll watch it on Disney Plus anyways. So of course, I don't have a problem with it. Let me put on this cover. Okay, now we have Captain America the First Avenger, Blu-ray plus DVD plus digital copy, spine, the back, here's this uh, digital copy for this, but the thing is you need the DVD in order to activate it. Here is the Blu-ray, Captain America the First Avenger. And here's the DVD, which is also the digital copy as well. The good part about the discs that have digital copy on them as well is because it goes right to the movie. So, of course, that's one thing that I honestly like about these discs. I've owned a couple Blu-ray sets that, that did that, like Rango and Jackass 3. They go right to the movie. That's one of the best parts about it. Next up we have this Blu-ray 3D version of Captain America the Winter Soldier. I have never seen any of the Captain America movies. It's fine. Back. I have only... I've seen the first Iron Man. I've seen a whole bunch of the Marvel movies. But I haven't seen Captain America movies. I saw both of the Guardians of the Galaxies. Because after all, who hasn't? I saw... The two Spider-Mans, and I am going to see the new Spider-Man when it comes out. But the whole the whole first week is freaking... All the tickets are bought up. All the tickets are out of stock. So, of course, let me take... Here we go. So, of course, here's the... Blu-ray case. I got this with no digital copy in it, so... Here's the Blu-ray 3D version. And here's the regular Blu-ray. And finally, which I... I had the digital copy and I redeemed it because... Spider-Man is a childhood hero to me. And I definitely enjoyed this movie when I first watched it. Spider-Man Homecoming. It did come with a digital copy and I redeemed it. And I actually got it, so... I wasn't going to give that movie away. But here's the bag. Here's the actual case. Spine. Back. Here's the Blu-ray. And the DVD. I remember putting this Blu-ray into my uh, Blu-ray player a long time ago. When I had my old one, I remember uh, getting it from the library. Just, I've gotten the other version of Spider-Man Homecoming from the library. The one that they have there currently is kind of damaged, so it's cool that they actually kept a nearly brand new one on the shelf. And they were getting rid of a nearly brand new one when they have a crappy condition one there. I don't know why they did that, seriously. Somebody had brain damage. But of course, why didn't they just get rid of the old one if they had a pretty much brand new one? Instead of getting rid of the pretty much brand new one. Otherwise, I don't care. I'm thankful.